Thank you. Uh, there are about 800 gotaways at the border every day, 96,000 since October 1st. Does President Biden want to locate these folks who have disappeared into this country to parts unknown? So here's what I will say is that um, the president, one of the reasons that the president is having these negotiation procedures or a process with the Senate, uh, with both Republicans uh, and Democrat, as I've said many times before, is because we want to deal with what's going on at the border. He's taken this very seriously. Um, he's, uh, he wants to make sure that we come up with a bipartisan agreement, and we are very uh, appreciative uh, for that. But there's also the diplomatic aspect of it, of making sure that we're having uh, conversations with Mexico, and we have had, and we've had productive conversations with them. And DHS is maximizing. They are maximizing its enforcement efforts. And since May 12th, and you've heard me say this as well, DHS has been able to return more than 482,000 individuals uh, who did not have the legal basis uh, to be here. So we're doing what we can right at the border. DHS is doing maximizing their process, doing what they can at the border. But we need help, right? We need Congress to actually act and uh, do their part as well. And we're having those negotiations and we're having those processes. I cannot speak to the 8,000 uh, 8, number you just provided to me. What I can speak to is what we're trying to do on the policy side and the funding side uh, to make sure what we, the Border Patrol, uh, the law enforcement on the ground, have what they need. Different topic. 